Welcome back to Rock and Roll Never Forgets. Hi everybody, Captain Jack Murphy here to guide this ship, and today we're going to be discussing the meaning behind one of the most iconic songs in Canadian music history, The Wreck of the Edmund Fitzgerald by Gordon Lightfoot. By the way, if you like this, hit the subscribe button, or even comment. Showing your support really helps us grow and reach new people. Normally, we do a multiple choice here for you to play along, but this time around the meaning is a little on the nose. I mean... To be fair, the meaning of the song is literally the title of the song. So we thought we'd go a little different route and fact check Mr. Lightfoot's song that's a historical musical adventure. The Wreck of the Edmund Fitzgerald is a tribute to the 29 crew members who lost their lives on November 10, 1975, when the SS Edmund Fitzgerald sank in Lake Superior during a severe storm. The Great Lakes themselves are home to over 6,000 shipwrecks, potentially costing the lives of over 30,000 people. The waters in these lakes are punishing to boats, often around freezing. The ship was carrying iron ore pellets from Minnesota to a steel mill in Detroit, Michigan, when it suddenly disappeared from radar. No distress signals were sent out and none of the crew survived. This already feels like the start of one of those History Channel shows. Oh, they actually did something on this? Was the sinking caused by aliens? Okay, back to the song. We'll put the lyrics down below if you want to follow along. So, how close was the song to history? Let's find out. According to the song, Edmund Fitzgerald was bound, fully loaded for Cleveland. In fact, the ship was heading for Zug Island near Detroit, where it was set to discharge its cargo of taconite iron ore pellets before heading on to its home port. Edmund Fitzgerald was not coming back from some mill in Wisconsin. Lake freighters that carry bulk iron ore are loaded at ore docks or mills. Come on, Gordon, everybody knows that. Captain Ernest McSorley had stated in his last radio transmission before the ship sank that he and the crew were holding their own. Not that they had water coming in, although he did communicate several hours earlier that the ship was taking on water. The song mentions possible causes of sinking, and while there is still debate about the cause, exploration of the wreckage found the bow and stern relatively close to each other on the lake bed floor, ruling out that it might have split up. However, this exploration took place a significant amount of time after the writing of the song, but for some reason we appear to be showing footage from the Titanic. Okay, that's better. Lightfoot refers to the Mariner's Church of Detroit as the Maritime Sailor's Cathedral, common mistake that I too make all the time. In a later live recording, Lightfoot recounts that a parishioner of the church informed him that the church is not musty. From that time on, instead of singing in a musty old hall, he sang in a rustic old hall. Beginning around 2010, based on a lot of new findings, Lightfoot would change some of the lyrics to the song to reflect the new information. However, this was just a live thing. The official lyrics are still the official lyrics, which means somebody can still write their own version of the song to reflect those findings, like a song sequel. We have to give this song credit, though. Not many artists take on a historical tragedy. We only fact-check the ones we love to. In conclusion, The Wreck of the Edmund Fitzgerald is a powerful tribute to the crew members who lost their lives in this tragic event. The haunting melody and the evocative lyrics have resonated with audiences over four decades cementing the song's place in Canadian music history. Sadly, Gordon Lightfoot passed away at a Toronto hospital on April 24th. The cause of death was not immediately available. Lightfoot was Canadian's folk troubadour. He had a ton of hit records, the Canadian Railroad Trilogy, The Wreck of the Edmund Fitzgerald, If You Could Read My Mind, and one of my favorites, Sundown. So we hope the captain and crew and Gordon Lightfoot are all resting in peace. Thank you for watching. I hope you learned something new today. I am out of here. I got to finish this up. I'm working on putting this great big ship into this tiny little bottle. Oh. Andrea Dory, isn't that the one they did the song about? Edmund Fitzgerald. I love Edmund Fitzgerald's voice. <laughs> no, Gordon Lightfoot was the singer. Edmund Fitzgerald was the ship. The captain wired in, he had water coming in, and the good ship and crew was in peril.